All right, guys, hello, welcome back. This week we're at the ninth annual Chili Bowl Championships at Triple T Raceway. Uh, huge shout out to uh, Terry Odom Promotions for putting this race on and having us. We appreciate that. Um, big, big money up for grabs tonight. We got three races. We got the Chili Bowl Championship, uh, limited modified and open modified. Uh, some lucky driver, it's possible with bonuses, my understanding is they could win up to $10,000 a night. Well, we'll have to stay tuned, see who wins that. But before we go, if you'd like to consider helping this channel out, becoming a member, we'd greatly appreciate it. That helps us get up and down the East Coast. We plan on going to Pennsylvania this year. Uh, we're going to try to hit up Florida in two weeks for the Maximilian race. If uh, you'd consider that, we'll put a link in the description below. As always, we appreciate everybody that takes time out of their day to watch these videos, subscribing, becoming a member, and liking the videos. Thank you. drivers, race promoters, uh, track announcers, and now photographers. Uh, Lauren uh, from Card and Keepsakes herself. Uh, I'm curious, uh, how'd you get into this and what kind of what kind of services do you provide for your customers? Uh, well, the whole photography business uh, was kind of an accident. <laughs> um, and it just kind of came out of nowhere, thankfully, um, at a really hard time in my life. And um, I love it. Um, I've been around go-kart racing my entire life. My it, Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. Yeah. Uh, um, I heard a rumor at one time you are a former racer yourself. Yep. Um, I raced for a long time. Um, my dad raced, my granddad raced, my cousin raced, my uncle. Um, I've been around go-kart racing my entire life. Um, I was at the go-kart track as a baby. Um, I started racing when I was 10. I raced for a long time with my dad, just me and my dad. Um, and I know the ins and outs of the race day in vivid detail. Um, so when I'm following these drivers around, I notice like what classes they're in, uh, what different carts they're running in different classes, different motors. Um, I know when they're gonna be at the grid. I know when they're gonna be at the scales. I know when they're gonna be back at the trailer working on their cart. Um, so, because I grew up doing that with my dad. Um, so those are the photos that I love to get in the pits, the candid photos for sure. I raced uh, from the time I was like nine or 10 till a couple years after I graduated high school. Um, and then I went to college and life happened. Um, so I've been around it my entire life. I know the ins and outs of it. I know the pictures that I liked when I was racing. Um, and when I got this camera, I originally intended to just use it to take pictures of my kids, my dogs, of course. family members, maybe like family pictures. Um, and I took it to Southern Cartway one weekend um, and I was just playing around with it because I wanted to learn how to use it better. Um, and I knew that the go-kart track would be a good place to do that. And um, I came up with the bright idea that weekend that um, I didn't want to be like other go-kart photographers. Um, I wanted to follow individual drivers throughout their race day because um, the candid pictures in the pits, those were always my favorite. I love the, you know, the glamour shots on the track when you get new graphics. Those are always nice, but um, I liked the pictures of me and my dad working on the cart together. Um, so for one flat rate, I'll, I can follow you around for the day. Uh, take pictures at your trailer, uh, on the grid, on the track, victory lane. Um, follow you throughout your race day. Um, 
so that's that's what I like to do. Okay, okay. So you're not just like here at Triple T or, or, or Tri County one weekend. So your customers can basically get a hold of you how, and then you can you basically meet with them. Is that correct? Yeah, so I post on Facebook, on my Carding Keepsakes uh, Facebook page, uh, where I'm going, where I'm traveling to, uh, where the big races are. Um, and you can reserve me for that day. You can just message me or you can text me. My phone number's on the Facebook page. Um, and like today, here at the Chili Bowl, I'm, I'm covering the entire event. Um, getting pictures of everybody, but I'm also I also have some customers that I'm following okay, around okay. and getting more of. Um, so I do it all at one time, all by myself. <laughs> okay. And one more time, how can they get a hold of you? Um, on Facebook, Carding Keepsakes, uh, and my phone number is on there, on the Carding Keepsakes page. Okay. All right. Great. Great. Well, before we go, uh, you got a pick for anybody to win that big open modified race tonight? Oh man, don't make me don't do that. Put, put, <laughs> I, I've been put on the spot like that before too. We'll just say the the best cart wins or best driver. Yeah, wins. you know right. the best one wins. All right, sounds good. All right, thanks for uh, spending a minute uh, with us, and we appreciate it. And thank you so much. Yeah, thank you.
old jaunt to meet me on the front straightaway to capture your $5,000 paycheck. Uh, they've been talking a lot of shit, man. I, I, told, them we, I told them we was coming. They didn't go down this old kid hunting. They told me he bet me $5,000. I should have took him. Then you, uh, him and JT, they all been working on the last few months.